Okay guys, hey, how you doing? Okay, thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, I really wanted to stress out on one specific thing that is really, really, it means so much to me. Um, we all are the same um, in God's eyes. And I just wanted to say that, you know, uh, not everyone has the perfect lifestyle. So some people do choose to do things that are um, a little bit out of the moderation in which God intended for the lifestyle to be because he did ask for moderation. Um, but he did give you the choice to um, have your wants and your needs. Um, not that so much of that is always a choice, but um, he did give you the ability to choose um, your wants and your needs. Um, but he's also always and also giving you your wants and your needs um, if you just truly believe that and if you um, believe that you can have anything that you want um, in this world and in life as you live. Um, and God bless you all also um, for watching this and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hit that subscribe button at the bottom also because I will be giving you some more um, enlightenment about um, um, discovering uh, my personal life and also um, that's pretty much it. But I'm pretty sure that you have some things in life that you've been through that you can um, reflect back on but about what I've been going through as well. Um, but I just wanted to say um, that I don't get along um, with people who use hard drugs. Now, I have to say this, I have actually had some very good, decent conversations with people who have used hard drugs, and I'm not talking about marijuana, I'm talking about harsh drugs, like chemical-based drugs, like cocaine, or crack, or heroin, or things like that, you know what I'm saying, like I've had some conversations with them. But they're, for some reason, they're not just all there in the mind. Um, so they may not all be there to harm you. Um, but, you know, a lot of them, that, a lot of people that use harsh drugs do have sense. Um, a lot of them have common sense. A lot of them have spiritual guidance um, still within them. And home training and morals, um, surprisingly. Um... Um, a lot of them still love themselves and have things that they love from other people, of, of other people. But, um, of, cor of course, I've told you the story about my mother and my father about, you know, alcohol has, a, has to do with the same type of, um, in a drug-like way, also, if you abuse it. Um, but whenever someone is using harsh drugs, you can tell um, by their demeanor, about how their feature looks on their face, um, the clothes that they wear, you can tell, um, the way that they speak, you can tell, um, like, I, it's some people inside of the, the shelter that I was living in, um, you, uh, you can tell that a lot of people in there are on drugs, or were on drugs, um, I can look at some staff members, like the one that, um, the face that... Um, there's a guy in there, and I can tell that he was a user, and he might still be a user because he smokes cigarettes. So, and he gives me a hard time when everything's pretty much common sense, so I can tell that that's a drug that has him acting the way that he's acting. Because he acts, I mean, his spirit is the way that he's acting the way that he's acting. But I can also tell because I've been raised within an environment with a mother who used it. I can tell now who's using drugs and who's hiding so you know he gives me a hard time about cleaning in there when it's a very, really small room and he asked me to clean and then I say okay I'll clean and then he come in the room one day and he was like I see you standing around would you mind taking some initiative and cleaning and I'm like Dude, everybody cleans up behind themselves. What are you talking about? If there's something that needs to be clean and you tell me to clean it, I say, okay, and I clean it. So what are you talking about? Oh, I forgot. You want to see me overreact because you know I have class and I don't do that. Because you have a spirit about yourself that's not godly. And also, I can tell that you're using drugs now or you were using drugs. So now I'm able to identify the difference between 
people who actually use that type of stuff. So it's not really so much as, you know, uh, they might be a bad person, but if I cannot pick up a, a good, decent, like, spirit, then nine times out of ten, you're not a good person. Um, so I just don't get along with a lot of people that use drugs. Now, I'm surprised that I was actually able to actually carry a conversation with certain individuals that was actually using drugs, but not that much. Nope. Nope.